Decisions are a fundamental concept of computational thinking, as they allow us to change our actions based upon the value of data. For example, if it is raining, before we go outside, we might need to put on boots and perhaps a raincoat. You'll be able to see examples of decisions all around you. For example, a lift will only stop on a specific floor if the button for that floor has been pressed. At the ATM, the cash you have requested will only be dispensed if you have enough funds in your account. Decisions could also be explored using play. For example, students could be asked to explore the individual steps in games that they play, such as hopscotch, and asked to create a sequence of instructions that describe their games, including those instructions that ask them to make a choice in what action they take. For older students, the curriculum will move on to the development of their own algorithm for a given problem. For example, students could be asked to construct a maze or an obstacle course and then navigate a blindfolded friend through the maze using only verbal instructions. One interesting aspect of these activities is asking students to think about what kinds of information they needed to give, but also what information was provided but wasn't really useful. Did they always have enough information to guide their decisions in their movement? Did they know which direction to turn? Was it confusing at any point? This helps turn the discussion towards data and what data was needed to solve the problem, directions to move or directions to turn. A similar game for younger children might involve students working in pairs to recreate a design or a pattern. One player could arrange her blocks in a specific design or pattern, and then the other player has to form their blocks into the same pattern. The catch here though, is that the players can't see each other's blocks but have to rely only on verbal instructions. This is a great activity to explore instructions and sequences, as well as building both spoken language and vocabulary and listening skills. A nice extension of this activity is to form a pattern or a design with blocks and then swap with another student and ask them to write down the instructions for recreating the pattern. There are often multiple ways to achieve the same goal, multiple algorithms for the one problem, and it can be useful for students to explore multiple pathways to the same endpoint.